Hello, my Invictus Victuals. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be building between Bolton Greens and Greg's Mining Supply. Uh, and this nice little spot here. When I say nice, I mean uh, Scorch spawn in, robots spawn in, and every time uh, you get the uh, little uh, uh, Distinguished Guests event popping up, you will have to listen to that piece of shit talking on and on for seven minutes until the event times out, but it's fine. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, recently, uh, Vlad Administrator and Lucy Jane Plays um, have challenged the Fallout 76 building community to build tiny houses. And the, the, the rules are you need to have a two foundation base, a cooking station, and a bed. Otherwise, outside of that, you can... Uh, just build a way to the heart to your heart's content, you know keeping within those confines By the way, I will of course be leaving a link for both of their YouTube channels in the description of this video Go check them out check out the original video that they have uh, Posted about it. I think there's actually two videos uh, each. Uh, I don't I, I'm know what I'm talking about I do know what I'm talking about not just not today. today um, so what I was gonna do here by the way is I'm wasting all of your time um showing this pointless merge that I'm doing. Uh, this thing is just decoration. It's not going to be usable once we actually like get it into the place. Um, you're not going to be able to use this cooking state. Uh, crafting bench. Oh wow, good strokes. Now, the nice thing about having a stroke when you're building. Oh look, distinguished guests. Time to leave the server. Now you may be wondering, like, why is there three foundations? I have three there. Uh, one on the outside so that I can move this foundation around up and down without losing my place and also um, like just you know for now it'll, it'll be gone later um, but yeah what, what I'm doing is I'm standing on this uh, foundation and I have it on the hill and then I'm pulling it towards me and it kind of pushes that shit down into it and that way I, I can sink this down and then we have like this little steampunky looking barrel of fun on the floor uh, now, what I'm going to do is um, quickly visit this new workshop on the map called, uh, what is it called? Bruni Bun? Yeah, it's a public team leader and a workshop. That, no, that's, that's not there. And then kill some Scorched. But first, uh, I want to show you this little fun time that I've developed. So, I've always wanted to build underneath one of these windmill generators, but the hitbox for it is atrocious. It is one of the most unfriendly things to build around. Um, it's just, it's really bad. Um, and I've tried burning it and stuff, and like burning other stuff, and putting this over it, and it never wants to play. Kill some more Scorched. They're, they're a nuisance to the community. Um, but I've, I realized if I put this on a trap, trigger the trap, the trap breaks, and the generator will go bye-bye, it'll disappear. And we can build where it was without any worries of intersection problems. And then we just repair the trap and it comes back. And then, of course, it's floating and the trap is ugly and visible. So how do we solve that problem? Well, um, first, we're going to kill some more Scorched. Um, and um, actually kill more Scorched, yeah. And also, what we're going to do is when you trigger it, this goes away. Beautiful. Now you can build there. So... Well, that's one problem solved. Um, and then we can build anything where it was. See, these are all going to let me place stuff down. Um, uh, like this bed here. I don't know why I chose that for an example. It's like very small. And then we repair it. Everything comes back. So now we have the problem of, well, this is still floating when it's repaired and the trap is ugly. So simply, simply, all you need to do is kill more Scorched. And then um, we're going to take this uh, once we line it up so that the corners are where we want them. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the chems bench. Um, only this time there's actually a purpose to it. But first kill more Scorched. And um, then um, what we're going to do is not grab the generator but grab the foundation. This one's a little harder to do because you got to kind of pull it underneath you. You don't want to go too far. But as you can see, it's sinking down in. We just want to go a little bit so that it, the legs aren't floating. This one's still floating a little bit. Um, 
just go like, ah, oh, God, like that, and then, hmm, delicious. And when we get it, that didn't move it at all. That didn't do anything. But when we get it, oh, maybe this, yes. Then that will just look like nails sticking out of the floor, which is awesome. It's still triggerable, but not as triggering as listening to me talk. So it's not terrible, and like, the average person walking through isn't going to quickly grab it and ruin your camp. Uh, it's not going to even ruin it. So you just repair it. It's a couple of wood. Um, if they do find a, find a way to do that. But it's not obvious to do. Get rid of the third foundation. I put that down so that I could put down the generator. Because it needs like support sticking out the back. Um, it just needs extra support. You know, some people are like that. And it's okay. You know, we don't hold it against them. Uh, unless uh, that extra support um, starts costing you dearly. In the form of emotional trauma. Which we won't get into today. I'm sure we'll have time for that later as we unpack some of the deeper issues deep down while we work on camp builds together. Um, some of the things we could talk about though, like um, there's um, some fun, fun times we've had uh, killing mole miners who didn't, who didn't do anything wrong except have a big backpack. If that's something that you can kill people for, well, that explains why everyone keeps shooting at me. Uh, because I have the high capacity and, um, well, I didn't know it was a fucking crime, to be honest. But, yeah, massacre people with backpacks, uh, is what we're learning together. Now, I found that you can suddenly build these half walls through the junk walls. I don't know why we can suddenly do that, but I'm not complaining about it, obviously. Um, and I'm just gonna use some scrappiness, uh, mix it up a bit. For my little challenge time... I'm going to go for, obviously, something very scrappy that's going to incorporate this, uh, this, this junk structure that's already in the spot. That can kind of help. Now, I put the, uh, bicycle crafting bench halfway through the wall, burned it, and then... Well, when I say halfway through the wall, there wasn't a wall there at the time. I'm gonna place it on a barn wall, which of course means I have to immediately burn it, because fuck that piece of shit. But today we're going to be using a little bit of barn wall um, to try to kind of... What we're doing is we're like easing our way into it. Hopefully one day we'll be able to uh, see barn walls without having a full allergic reaction. But for now, we just want to start off with baby steps. So I, I doubled two half walls. The inside one is concrete. The outside one is barn. That kind of makes it look like it's a little boarded up or something. But not with boards, but with concrete because that's... That makes a lot of sense. This will automatically snap to that uh, junk fence for no reason, which is fine because it pulls it really close into the wall. But I'm going to pull this fence back out because I don't want that ugliness right there. Now, I can't place a wall in there, so I'm going to burn this, you know, and then I can place a wall in there, which is fine. Sometimes you just got to burn the shit out of stuff to see what happens. Now for the most unplaceable wall in the game, you just need to jump up and down, twiddle your thumbs and other things that you might have until something happens. Something might give. It might be, you know, someone might give you their, your Miranda rights. I don't know. Things can happen. Just make sure you're not in public when you start jiggling and twiddling and whatever else. Um, that's my life advice to you. Um, and it's not from a place of experience, just basically making assumptions. Of course, I've never done anything like that in my own time. Now, I just want to clarify that, uh, like, Lucy Jane Plays, Vlad Administrator, they are not affiliated with me, so, like, uh, like, don't judge them negatively for the stuff you hear in this video. I'm just doing their challenge. Um, but I do, you know, if you guys want to go check them out, please do that. They've got some really cool builds on their channels. Um, I just also, let's show this at night. Um, because there's lights on it, and that's a new thing. And I thought, Jeff, you might appreciate this. Uh, turn your brightness settings down for this one instead of up like I told you to last time. Um, if you guys want to get involved in this challenge as well, uh, it's hashtag uh, FO76 Teeny Tiny. Um, you can share your builds on Twitter, um, in Reddit, forums, I guess, I think. Um, but yeah, if, if you're watching this video and the timestamp is like from seven years ago, it's it might be a little late to start throwing hashtags around. But like, you, you know, use your detective skills and be like, well, you know, is it, has it been like a long time or can I still do this? You can always do a teeny tiny challenge, um, but share your builds with the community. 
um, so that we can all benefit from your creative juices flowing down your leg. What? Oh. Now, as you can see, I kind of just continue this junk feeling all the way around the build. And when we repair that spike board trap, the generator comes back through the, the roof and all the stuff we built inside. And it kind of blends with that junk retaining wall. And then that kind of gives us this feeling that we've actually built a lot more than we have. And it's pretty clever. Let's open the door and it'll be propped up with a bag of meat um, and we can just head on inside uh, now I wanted to like put like a lot of junk in here that would make you feel like when you stepped inside you might catch a disease so we've got like the dirty old refrigerator we've got a oven that doesn't work so I'm using it as a TV stand a shopping cart that's not that is not merged halfway through the wall, but if it was, that's the way Bethesda wants it. Um, I, I I like how this looks in here with like the bars and everything from the windmill, adding a little bit more crampy feelings. Um, there is a secret door behind that shelf, but it's blocked off because I don't want people sneaking in behind me. Now there's flowers here. Those will sink right down into the floor. Um, that's, I put that there because sometimes I wake up in the morning and I want to destroy something beautiful so I rub my feet all over those beautiful little flowers and that gets me the spike of energy I need to get on with my day. Um, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. We've even got a little smoking area over here where you can get shot in the back of the neck by the scorch that constantly spawn. This place is admittedly not a great location, but you guys are great locations for watching this video to the end thank you so much to my patrons for your support even though it's unwarranted and uncalled for i appreciate it thank you and if you're not yet subscribed consider subscribing but don't do it too long and please just remember like there is damages that could ensue from listening the, the video's over i need to stop talking i think okay go goodbye